a mentor once told me, give up your desire to save the world and just do your small part. Yeah, I'm a commercial drone pilot. The species I'm most concerned about here are coho, steelhead, and chinook here in the coast range. So I use my aerial imagery and analysis to help having abundant native fish in the Pacific Northwest. Growing up in Pennsylvania, I just assumed that forests were managed similarly to how they were in Pennsylvania. But of course, my first drive out to the coast it was apparent that that's not how things work in Oregon. I was struck by the clear cuts, by the fact that every tree was taken out of certain areas. I wasn't expecting that. I first saw photos of this landslide on the website and, you know, I saw some examples, but I wondered to myself how widespread this, uh, this occurrence is of landslides. and was able to scan some satellite imagery and find 74 landslides just on the North Oregon coast. Of course, a landslide can deliver a massive amount of, of sediment to a, to a river system. And all of those that I found were associated with road building or clear cutting. And the history of the satellite imagery that we have makes that really apparent. You can go back and you can look and you can see that Three years ago, this slope was clear cut and now it's slid. Species like the salmon, a keystone species that really holds together these entire ecosystems, uh, they're already faced with you know, warming, more acidic oceans, faced with degraded river conditions here in the freshwater ecosystems. And then they have harvest and hydropower concerns that also affect them. And so some of those things are hard to change. Our forest practices are a little bit easier to change. Is this a public decision? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, it's a public decision. If enough people want it, things will change. <laughs>